welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm nia g today's video is a vlog basically of what i've been up to it started off as one vlog and i decided to merge these two vlogs into one weekly vlog it is my first weekly vlog ever if you're new to my channel i do hauls unboxings vlogs and i'm a lash tech so i'm going to be vlogging and showing you guys why i have been mia on youtube the content will be slowly rolling in this last next month or so but this is basically this entire full week monday through saturday and then the weekend before the first part of this vlog is last week so you guys get a little bit of maintenance me getting my hair done my lashes done, my nails done things i do to keep up myself on a regular basis and then you guys see me working my schedule is literally loaded also follow me on instagram at fussy.lashes if you want to see my lash work because i post on there every single day and my personal instagram is private but i do accept people um it is n1a.g but i hope you guys enjoy this vlog i do a lot of fun stuff i.e beautiful faces because it's pretty much all that i show i also talk about how i just how i finally made some new friends in new york because i've only been living here for two years and it has been a struggle but that's all for now i hope you guys love this vlog make sure you give me a thumbs up comment down below your favorite part of this vlog and subscribe to my channel if you have not already So I'm doing my girl Jackie's lashes. I usually wear a mask when I do lashes, but um, like look at my how my head is tied, but we're good. Say hi, Jackie. I have a surprise for you guys. She brought a guest. I don't let people bring guests, <laughs> but watch. I let her. I didn't even let her. She just bought the guest. No, because she gave me permission. No, she gave me I permission. Not. I don't even remember. Weeks so. ago. Gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the guest. You guys are gonna be like, oh my god. Okay. She did a regular C curl hybrid set. Very boring and basic. And this is Jackie. She does <laughs> nails. Yes. Yes, get into it. What's your nail page? Keep a fresh set. Period. Um, I will plug it, perhaps. I don't know why her eyes are tearing, but yeah. She, this is her go-to set. She has I'm crying lashes. because my set is so cute. Yes, she has such full natural lashes that this hybrid looks like a volume. And it, they look like they're hers because her natural lashes are literally that lit. Because my lash tag is fire. Because my Period. lash tag is fire. Period. This is her baby. She's hiding under the table. She's playing peekaboo. She's so cute. She's just literally under there. Good morning. So I'm just waiting for my first client. Um, look at that hole in the wall. So this is my new favorite candle. I got it from Target. You can see the other one is empty. I kind of just have it there to like fill space. Everything is like the same in here for the most part. This client is new, so I probably won't. Oh, I'm show. literally just sipping my coffee. Um, I have three clients today. First is 9:30. It's 9:30 right now, so she should be texting me any minute now um next she's probably here so i have problems barking next is at 12 i think it's 12 yes yeah, 12 um she's getting a classic set so i have two classic sets and then i have a hybrid cat i set um and this will be her second time coming to me the one that's in the middle she's been to me like a million gajillion times so i'm super excited for the day last night i went and i got my nails done um i was on the phone the whole time i was in the nail salon so i got a fill this nail is I'm recording on my phone again, y'all. Like, what the heck? This nail is freaking bruised. So, um, I'm gonna go back in a couple days because it hurts. So, she told me, like, give it three days and then come back and get it fixed. This vlog is really to show you guys, show you guys where I've been at, why I have not been posting consistently on YouTube. Like, I just miss doing YouTube so much. Like, this whole week, like, the whole last two weeks, I've been trying to, like, get myself together so that I could come back to YouTube and really post and, like, give you guys a little insight on how I like to do my weekends because, yeah, I've been trying to enjoy myself live my life i'm 22 i'm about to be 23 i've been you know chilling for the last two years and I, you know i really gotta get my stuff together i'm gonna talk a little bit more 
later but i really wanted to give you guys insight on what my life is really like and why i can't be as consistent as i used to be on youtube because you guys know like i used to post every single week every other week um if you're new here like enjoy the vlog because this is you know this is me so y'all get to see me what i'm up to these days and hopefully you guys enjoy and subscribe to my channel all that stuff so we sit and have some fun together see what i got going on and i hope you guys like it you guys can keep up with me on my instagram which is private but it i don't know if you seem cool i'll let you in my instagram is m1a.g my lash instagram is fussy.lashes and then my tiktok um is nia2g and then i also have a lash tiktok which i barely post on i'm so bad fussy lashes so you guys can check that out if you really want to see my lash tiktoks and all that other stuff so i'm around I don't really post this frequently on everything, but I do update my stories like a couple times a week. So, yeah. <laughs> First client just left. I made a mess. She was from Maryland, but she was super cool. Like, look at how my everything is. It's like literally I mess any cleanups. I'm a setup, and then she'll be in in a couple of minutes. So I need to hurry up, reheat my coffee. Look at this cute mug that I got from Target. I never find anything with ends on them. So every time I see an end on something, like I'll snatch it up or if my mom sees it, she'll snatch it up. I just love ends and they're so hard to find, but I have to use the bathroom, wash my hands, put some lotion on, heat my coffee, and then next client. She's supposed to be here at 12, but I think she's running a little bit late, but I don't worry, honestly, I need a little bit of a break. And I give people a 30 minute grace period um, because after 30 minutes, I feel like I'll be rushing, like if I have someone right after them. But she's usually good on time. So she's usually good on time. Plus, I've lashed her so many times before. Like, I trust her. I know she's going to be here, you know? Hi. Hi. She should have so, never did that. Exactly. So this is why you don't put shrimp lashes on your extended set. Mm -hmm. So it's not really what I'm used to, but. I'm actually a little bit ahead of schedule. Look at me in the mirror. Actually a little bit ahead of schedule so I can have a quick break, eat something, clean up the room, set it up, and then she'll be in at three. My phone just let me know that it's dying, like I care. And um, yeah, she'll be in at three and then that'll be my last one for the day. It should be used by, cause I'm ahead of schedule, like it's crazy. Well, it's not crazy, that's like normal. It's just a classic set. That I did so yeah oh, the nail bed yeah it is literally very very painful so it's Sunday morning good morning I have the room all set up candles lit um bed set up it is like 10 50 right now my client's coming for at 11 so I have one appointment today I was actually fully booked this weekend because I had Three appointments available for tomorrow, and then only one appointment available because I took off for the afternoon. So that's four appointments that I had available. Everyone booked them. Everyone came. Everyone showed up. Everything went perfectly. Everything was perfect. Well, this client, she just said she's on her way, so I'm assuming everything's going to go perfect. Like, But yeah, today is Juneteenth, so I'm going to this event. It's called Beautiful People. Um... I found it. One of my clients earlier this week told me about it and she was like, I should go. I'll have a good time. So I'm going to go. Um, yeah. And I'm going to like get into that when I'm like getting ready or getting dressed. I'm going to tell you guys like about the event and who I'm going with. It's going to be really exciting. It's also Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. If you're a father. And happy Juneteenth. Oh, yeah. no, shit. Pretty. Okay, so I'm about to head out. The event is called Beautiful People. It's like a picture taking event. Um, this is my outfit. I'm wearing my white toe bar, which I just got. This top from H&M underneath is like a Skims bralette. It's like 75 degrees today. It was 80 degrees straight all week. Now all of a sudden it's cold, but my outfit is just gonna hit better with these shorts. I don't care. So I'm wearing it. And um, this is my hair. I never really got to show you guys. I did mess up. The little swirl and the baby hair that 
she gave me a swirl in my baby hair. I told her I cannot maintain baby hair, but I got it wet. And now it's just straight, it's just regular. But um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my full outfit in the mirror. But basically, one of my clients earlier this week told me about this event. I asked two people that I normally hang out with if they wanna go. And I was like, you know what? I can't be reliant on these two people. Like I have to make more friends. So I went on Bumble BFF and I met two girls that wanna hang out. So hopefully it goes well. It should be super cool. Like I didn't grow up here in New York, so I don't have friends like that here. So I have to go out of my way to make friends. And it was really nice for my client to tell me about it. She was like, this would be a good like networking event for me and all the other stuff. And I love her like in general. So I'm super excited about that. So hopefully you guys like everything is perfect and um hopefully i'll get to introduce them to you guys and um yeah if you're new to an area or you just want to make new friends to like hang out with and go out with try bomb bff like what's the worst that can happen yes this is the complete outfit my room is a mess you already, already know the situation with my shoes but these gucci i mean my floor these gucci um mules i need to do a video on but yes i'm a telfar fiend these days like i have this telfar here i just got it with the matching uggs y'all saw a video of that one um i have this telfar i just got and i also have the green screen which is the juneteenth, juneteenth telfar. telfar i should it to my mom's house so lord knows when i'm gonna get it because i thought it was supposed to come in july so i'm like i'm gonna go to my mom's house in july like around my birthday time they're early they're like two months early so yeah lord knows what i'm gonna get my thing so let me just grab grab my skims mask it's brand new i love the skims mask and i'm gonna make my way there it's gonna take me like an hour to get there and i really don't know where i'm going I'm planning to meet up around like 4 30 it's like 3 40 right now so it says 50 minutes we'll see i'm on my way she was here as soon as i got off the train look at her she's so cute what's your name my name is Madison. Follow me. Yes. Also, you plug everything. Maddie in the mix on YouTube. Okay. Yes. We're gonna make TikTok. Hey, so here. Yeah. She yeah. might have yeah. to a friend yeah. already. Like we're so yeah. excited. It took us okay. a second though. Yeah. We're here. Put the feather in this.
Mm -hmm. We don't know why she's screaming. We having fun but though. We're gonna be listening. We're gonna be okay. listening. But this is the end of the weekend vlog. Yeah. We had mad fun. Yeah. Look at Maddie. She has sunglasses on inside. You know how Listen, lit you gotta be to have I them was like, inside. I'm gonna take these off all night. Like, what are you? Where are you? Bye. 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 It's about a week later when I'm filming the end of this vlog. This vlog was so much fun. Like, you guys got some insight on what my day to day life is like. I'm hanging out with friends, meeting new people. I'm in New York. It's not that easy, especially if you did not grow up here. Also, it's been a pandemic, so it's really hard to meet people. But I'm so happy everything worked out. As you guys can see, I had so much fun. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below your favorite part of the vlog or if you want more details on either Lashes, Bumble, or like the event that I went to. Let me know. But that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hello. Weekly vlog starts here. good morning i already finished my first part of the day it's like what time is it i think it's 11 31 but i just my first time was at nine in the morning and that's so early so i was like i don't think i feel like talking yet but i had my breakfast after my first client which i don't normally do but since it was early i was just like whatever i ordered chick fil a breakfast because i deserve this treat and so i just ran to the store so i needed more lysol this was seven dollars at like the 99 cent store at the supermarket yesterday was like 8 50 so i was like oh heck no let me wait until the discount store opens and it was still up there but it wasn't as bad um i got these safety pins because i have things i need to hang up in here finally and then i got this tropical blossom i usually get the lemon that's the one that i have in here already but I used to have this one in college and it was my favorite. So I was like, let me get it for nostalgia purposes. And then I got a lemon, which I normally do. But I just like to keep one in here just to fill the aroma. I honestly don't think they're all that strong unless you're like right next to it. But it still is good vibes. Now I'm waiting for my next appointment. Her appointment was supposed to be for one. But she asked if she could come a little bit earlier. And since I'm like not doing anything right now, like... She can come, probably get here like 12.30. She's a regular, so no big deal. And yeah, so we have three more clients today. We have her, who's supposed to be from one. She's coming a little bit early. I have someone for 3.30. And then I have someone for six. So back to back, rest of the day. Um, but I usually, I've been finishing a lot earlier. So my times that I have available don't really show that. But yeah, that's what we're going for. That's the vibe for today. Fully booked for the whole day Monday and I'll show you guys each set as I finish um I don't really like to record while I'm doing it I find it inconvenient and some people like just don't want to be recorded so yeah but that's all and yes this is day one of the weekly vlog so this is a before and after of so a cat eye set my, very natural so but a little bit of oomph at the end and this next set is a 12 millimeter classic set it literally looks like her natural lashes and a lot of people prefer this very natural look i just made it back from the store um i'm kind of breathing not really i'm taking a while but um I did record the sunscreen video that I have planned. You can see my skin is going, so hopefully that video will be up before this video is up. Well, it definitely will be up before this video is up. And I finally got Command Chef. That's what I went to the store for today. So I have these vines here that I ordered from Amazon, and I'm going to hang them on this wall. I'll be hanging them on this wall. And I couldn't figure out for the life of me how to hang these vines up because look, this is the end. And this is the other end. So there's no, nothing. Like it didn't come with any instructions. It didn't come with any like, here, use this, none of that. So I'm gonna hang this up. And after I hang this up, I'm gonna hang these butterflies. And then my last room will pretty much be done decorating. I kind of just wanted everything to go with this, like, because this was already in the room. 
and I'm going to record a last room official tour. I have shown you guys my last room before, but um, you know, it's it's gonna be in depth and everything will be linked. So it'll be perfect and I'm gonna try to get that up like in the next, after this video is up, that last video will be up. So let me get started. I did these. The command hooks are crooked. I could barely reach them. I was standing on the freaking windowsill and this little table I have right here. It's a super dangerous scare for my life, but I finally got them up like the first ones, but I'm gonna add some like right here, like in these blank spots, just to add like a little bit more fullness. And hopefully that comes out really good. This part is a little bit less dangerous, so I think I'll let you guys. I would always use command strips when decorating my dorm in college and let me tell you guys you don't want to mess up this part the tape this side is the wall side it says it it's the black side the other side is the blue side so when you pull them off you just pull it and yank it it gets thinner and it comes out seamlessly and if you just try to rip it off or you have it on the wrong side because you need a different type of tape for the different material you're ruining the wall okay you don't want that, especially if you rent or, I mean, you shouldn't want to mess up your house in general, but make sure you have it on the right side, okay? And this pack didn't come with backups, but you can buy refills on Amazon. I put these on Amazon and everything was a refill. I was like, I don't want that. Okay, so, I definitely could have used another pack of hooks. Hold up. Like this ball spot right here and this spot right here. Like I could fill it right there and right there. But am I going back to that store? No, I'm not. So <laughs> I'm gonna go get some tape and we're gonna use tape. So this is the wall i hope you guys aren't speeding through this but yeah you don't even notice the clear command strips and then the tape like i just wanted to fill it in because i'm gonna have clients tomorrow and i don't want it to look like weird and i'm just gonna pop some butterflies in there that i've been having for forever since my logo does have butterflies in it and okay, okay. these are the butterflies i got them from shein last year so 2020 I'm like last year, almost two years ago now. I wanted to put these in my bedroom, but then I just, never did. I was like, let me put them in my last room, it'll be perfect. And you can also get these on Amazon. I have seen these on Amazon. I know that was fast, but I changed my mind about the butterflies because they have magnets in the back and that's gonna be like heavy. And the stickers that they sent are like this and it's gonna be too much. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. And so I've shown you guys this part of my room before. This is my lash bath kits. I've shown you guys how I make lash bath. I now add these mini makeup removers so it's easier to clean your face the first day that you get your lashes done so you don't get them wet. But now I have these eye masks. I already sold one, it came in a pack of six and I will link them. And yeah, these are lash masks that you sleep on. They're 3D and they protect your lashes. These are for girls that like sleep wild or like sleep on their face. So yeah, that's that. Like I just thought this was so cute. Like look at this area. Like everything is coming along. What the fuck is your phone on? This is her set. She did 16 hybrid for her birthday. Tell her happy birthday in the comments. Yay. She's <laughs> Okay, good afternoon. That was my first time of the day. I have one more at 5.30. It's like 2.30 right now. Yeah, because our appointment was at 12. So 2. I have to clean up the room. I love this. Like, it makes the room feel like a completely different vibe. I'm so happy I finally, one, found the right ones, and two, put them up. As you guys can see, I took my lashes off. Clearly, I missed a spot. I hate taking my lashes off by myself. I use this. So if you have lashes and you get lash extensions regularly, have someone help you take them off rather than yanking them off so you can have bald spots. Um, this is what I use to remove other people's lash extensions and that's what I did for myself. This eye, it was just taking too long. It was burning, so I gave up. But I'm getting my lashes done. A completely new set tomorrow. 
and I still have my lashes. So, yeah. I gotta, like, I gotta clean my tweezers, put these lashes away, change the bedding, as you guys already know, like I always do between clients. And I'm supposed to get something to eat because I didn't eat anything today. And then I'm back. Lazy to do it for some reason, especially like when I'm in. It's the other day. I just had dinner. I got chicken wings for dinner. And I'm drinking tea and watching YouTube on my iPad. I'm an iPad kid. Like, I look so crazy. I have literally one eyelash on. I think I have, I have two. But I gotta get up early tomorrow. It's 9.22. I set my alarm to wake me up at 7.30. I really hate waking up early. So, we'll see how this goes. But I'm so excited to get my lashes back full it's probably gonna be my last time getting my lashes done until my birthday my birthday is exactly a month away so i'm excited Her setup is so cute, but she's on the right now. Yeah, it's really power. I did volume. My hair looks crazy. So this is Shia. Follow her Instagram. I look a mess right now. So Shia right? Superior Lashes. She don't look a mess. She looks like she's hard at work. Okay. <laughs> I want you guys to look at how dirty my shoes are. It's June. Well, it's the last day. Of June. I got these in May. These are hideous. Well, they're dirty. I want them to parties. I want them everywhere. Like, I'm really getting my pay for wear. Like, when they tell you, like, um, how often you think you will wear it, divided by the cost of the shoes. Like, look at this. I'm really getting my money's worth. And my Gucci bag, too. I'm really getting my money's worth. $500, well worth it. And I need to really record my review of these shoes because i love them clearly i wear them with everything i never did volume lashes on myself before volume cat eye is cute it's cute this one is hey my bottom lashes are so long and like this happens often but like sometimes the top lashes get stuck to the bottom like if you know you know these are cute though it's definitely it's dark because it's short and i usually do something longer I'm holding on to my hole, but yeah, like it's cute. I need to sleep. I'm tired. I have these bags. I need to be gone by tomorrow because we outside this weekend, okay? Okay. Oh, it's two weeks later. Pretty good. Good morning. It's Friday. So I'm wearing a tube top because if you guys have been watching, I've been wearing the same shirt in most of the vlog. But anyway, it's Friday, it's 11 a.m. My first appointment was supposed to be for 11 a.m., but she said that she's really far and asked if she could reschedule till 12, but that's problematic. And all week I'm having to enforce my policies, which is so hard to do. We are not like a problematic person. Like I'm not, I try not to be. But I had to update my policies, make them extremely clear on my Instagram page. I know because I'm like booking people and they have all their rules laid out. Like the girl that I went to yesterday, Shia Superior for my lashes. Everything, there's no mistakes. And I can't be having like someone's appointment running into another person's appointment or like someone just like walking over me. Like I can't do that. Or like, yes, yeah, so I've been really having to enforce my policy. So I let her know you got to be here by 1130 or you know, you're appointments cancel because I give a 30 minute grace period some people give 10 some people get 15 and you can't control traffic like no matter how close you think you are to something you can't control it but I give 30 because like after 15 minutes if I don't hear from someone like I'll call then after another 15 minutes I'm gonna sit 30 minutes I'll be like hey like your appointment is canceled or like hopefully they'll let me know like hey I'm running late like you know and if I don't have anyone after of course I'm not pressed to be like oh you can't come like 
no but i do have an appointment exactly after hers and i feel like with my time the way that i have it set right now it's like very flexible because it i could start exactly at the time that it says and like i'll still be finished like early like an hour early 30 minutes early like i'll have time in between so that's why it's helpful as you can see my vines fell down so maybe today i'll go replace them i really don't want to but it's friday so we made it through an entire weekly vlog yes friday um all my appointments are really well this week um substantial week for me and for self-advocacy anyway so the lady ended up canceling the lady ended up canceling right but she did it through paypal so because people book and pay through paypal right so she's causing me problems she's causing me problems because now i she paid in full she actually booked the wrong thing and i corrected it myself so she was gonna owe more money when she did this but basically she paid in full for whatever whatever anyway so after me, she messaged me and said she was going to be late, I was like, you know, you got to be here by 1130. So instead of being like, okay, like I'm on my way or whatever, she decided to go through PayPal and lie and say that I, um, she decided to go through PayPal and lie and say that I never sent her the address, but I actually have messages from back in May when she asked me, um, for the address. She sent me her address and I mapped it out for her and I showed her that it was 30 minutes away. I showed her, right? Without giving the exact address because I work out of my house. Like, I'm not giving my address to strangers. Okay, right? Now, she made the appointment Wednesday night, 11.59, right? 11.59, made the appointment. That's a day before her appointment. So I sent her the address like I do, which I say that I do. So, which I did. And she was like, okay, cool. So my guessing is that she woke up this morning late or was just late from her appointment or late for her appointment or doing whatever. And she decided to aggravate me or something like that. Like she decided to just be late for her appointment. And now, because I'm like, you know, you have to make it to your appointment time. I'm like, I don't know if people just think that we just want to sit around and wait like we don't have anything else to do it's not the case someone else could have had this appointment people love friday appointments especially friday morning appointments people love them so you took this appointment away from someone else for what also i was tired this morning so i could have still been sleeping which is why you have to enforce your policy but now that she went through paypal i'm gonna give her a partial refund so, but I'm gonna keep the $20 deposit, but I offered her the rest of the money. Hopefully she accepts it because if I have to escalate it through PayPal, that's gonna be a whole nother issue, but it's gonna be an issue for her because there's chargeback fees. Also, when you do stuff like that, like, do you know that we see that, okay, you're stealing from a small business or a slot from someone else. Like you're messing with people, people's money. And like, maybe do book again, don't. Or if you don't want them to ban you, like you want their services in the future, like don't do that. Also, she could have told me that she was gonna make it today and I could have rescheduled her for another day, especially since she did painful, but she didn't say that. So now is that issue for PayPal and like, just don't do that stuff. Like it's very inconsiderate. And also it makes you look like a weirdo. I'm all dressed. I'm going to beautiful faces. Again, um, I have a my Leo necklace because it's July 1st and my birthday is in 24 days, July 25th. My Leo earrings. Um, I didn't do much for my makeup, but I'll link another video. Just this top knot and the little curl action and this black dress that I showed in my H&M haul and I wore it literally twice in Miami. And my white top bar and my platform Converse. What's on my bag? I touched it with something red. And my platform converse hopefully i get like a full video but you guys saw me go to beautiful faces earlier i don't really know exactly what this event is for but there's this time last time was for juneteenth this is just like 
drinks, games, maybe because it's a holiday weekend, so they decided to throw something. But I'm excited, I'm about to head out, and hopefully it's just as fun as it was the last time. <laughs> Yeah.